You're very kind, Mr. Chairman. I thank you for the courtesy, and uh, you're right. This is a, a very, very important issue. As I go home, I hear from not only patients and friends and family, but I hear from doctors about what's going on with pharmaceuticals. And uh, even though my questions do ultimately end up uh, applying to money, uh, it deals really with your job. And that is, is it, and the ranking member talked about this briefly, but can, can you tell me how uh, a company can take a generic and change it to what doctor says very, very slightly and end up to be able to go take it back on the market and jack the price up when it's basically the same generic it was before they modified it very, very modestly if, you know. Talk to me about how that process works. Certainly, the generics have to be copies of a reference listed drug, in other words, a brand drug originally. Yes. And so they have to stay being copies. So they can't substantively modify the generic. They may make it look different or something like that. But in our experience, the price uh, rises for generics or innovative products, as you were referring to, have to do with where there's no competition in the market, where they may be the only game in town. Overall, gen generic drug prices are going down, have been going down. But in these cases that you're referring to, where for some reason there's no competition, there may be other approved generics but as Senator Merkley said, their market share may be so small or for other reasons that they aren't effective competition. Well, uh, I will tell you, I appreciate that. But, and I don't have any problem with the pharmaceutical company get, you know, getting their research and development money back. Um, I also think that if we're funding part of that R&D, we ought to get a break on some of that R&D money. But, but that aside, I think it's important they're able to do their research, but I've heard from many docs, not just one or two, many docs that say that if patients using a generic, the company will pull that back, somebody pulls it back, changes it, not significantly at all, and then puts it back on the market for five or 10 times the money or more. What you may be referring to is what they change is the ownership changes. So a one generic company may own a product. Yeah. It's been so, it's then sold, so it looks different. It has a different manufacturer. But it's the same stuff, it's basically. The same, it has to be under the generic laws. Okay. Is there yeah. anything we can do about that? Or is that just the way it is? FDA, as I said earlier, doesn't regulate the prices right. of drugs. We have nothing to do okay. about that. We, what our actions do is we try to, yeah. if there's a sole source, yeah. uh, we try to um, get more copies yeah. into the market. I've got, a, uh, I've got a friend who got child with diabetes, by diabetes at the age of 13. He's the same age I am. He's 60, so this is 1970 when he first became a diabetic. And I can't remember the number because... It's been over a month ago, and my memory doesn't last that long. Um, but he had told me that insulin back in 1970 was, was less than $10. Um, and now it's significantly much, much higher than that. Has insulin changed over the last 40 years, or is insulin insulin? There are many new forms of insulin that have been introduced. And modern diabetic care usually includes a long-acting insulin and some short-acting insulins. There are insulin pens uh, that in, people can auto-inject so it's less painful. So there have been different changes in technology. But some of the basic insulins have not changed. So why, why I mean, is it just pure greed that they would increase the prices like that? Well, I can't comment on the motives, but I can say that uh, Congress passed a number of years ago the um, legislation for biosimilars yes. so that the biologic products... Yeah. Now, insulin right now is regulated as a drug. This is complicated, but it will be regulated as a biologic under the Biosimilars Act. It will transition over, and therefore the insulins will be subject to... Uh, cop the biosimilars copy. Yeah. Well, well, I appreciate your testimony today, I, and I'm going to have to get the companies in and visit with them to find out what's going on. Like I say, I get it. you got to recoup your cost of research and development. But, man, oh, man, I'm just hearing so many stories on the street where there's minor modifications or 
a drug that's really the same drug that's been around for 45 or 50 years is getting priced out of the marketplace, and we're driving people into poverty in the process, and quite frankly, that concerns me. Thank you very much, and thank you for your participation.